um, students can see numbers and numbers and numbers and it doesn't make much sense and then when you show it to them in an animation or a simulation, it's, the light bulb goes on and it, I get it, I, it makes sense, I see how science is connected. Data visualization we're realizing is one of the easiest ways to bring big data into the classroom and make it accessible and understandable. Science on a Sphere is the first spherical movie screen and it was invented and patented by the people here at the Earth System Research Lab. Now it's in over a hundred museums around the world and has a viewership of around 35 million people. And Science on a Sphere is amazing but it's it's also mostly in museums and science centers so not particularly accessible for every classroom teacher. In this workshop, we're working with SOS Explorer, which is our new flat screen downloadable application for personal computers. That's a version of Science on a Sphere for the public, for teachers. We're really hoping to get it into the classroom. SOS Explorer was developed uh, here at NOAA. Um, it uses off-the-shelf game technology. Uh, we're using the Unity Gaming Engine. SOS and SOSX, um, the computer program, allows you to visualize data. Instead of looking at raw data, instead of seeing a bunch of numbers, it allows you to see what it actually looks like on that big blue marble we call Earth. So right now I'm working with another Boulder Valley teacher and we're looking at plate tectonics and we will allow the kids then to discover the relationship between plate tectonics, earthquakes, and volcanoes. And they'll get a chance to look at three separate models, draw their own conclusions as they move from station to station, and it's that kind of science discovery that leads to real learning. So it's pretty exciting that this crop of teachers will be able to use it in their classrooms um, as soon as school starts. Um, all of this is science and it's all connected. So bringing that into the classroom and having it as a visual tool is a huge help. I'm really looking forward to using Science on a Sphere in my classroom. I just think it's going to add a whole nother dimension to their, um, their learning. They absolutely love it.